Hi everyone! So a little while ago we asked you guys if you would like us to do monthly TBR videos and the response was very positive so without further ado we are going to talk about some of the books that we hope to get to in the month of September. So the first book that I hope to get to this month is Beyond a Darkened Shore by Jessica Leake. First of all, this cover. I love it. Um, I'm definitely getting like really dark fantasy vibes and I'm so in the mood for it. I've already read 20 pages of this and I can't wait to keep going. So this story is about a princess named Ciara and she's always kept her people safe because she has the ability to read her enemies' minds and control their actions. One day a crow appears and starts giving um, Ciara premonitions of a darker threat that is about to happen to her people. Eventually this crow leads Ciara to meet one of her enemies, a boy named Leaf, and when she realizes that he too can see the crow, they kind of begin to form an alliance um, on how they're going to save the land that they live in. So far, I mean, I've only read 20 pages, but I'm getting definite like Viking vibes and I just think it's a really unique concept and I can't wait to read more. So the first book I'm going to talk about is Vengeance Road by Erin Bowman. Now all I know about this book is it follows a girl named Kate after her father is murdered in order for the murderer to steal a journal, a journal which leads to a gold mine. Um, and I think Kate kind of flees west to find answers to what, what has happened to her dad. Um, so this is a western YA novel and I haven't read very many of those and the ones that I have read I have very much enjoyed. So I'm really looking forward to diving into this one because I've heard nothing but good things for about two years now. The first book on my September TBR pile is More Happy Than Not by Owl Crate BFF Adam Silvera. This is Adam's debut novel and one from an early Owl Crate box and it has been on my list and on my bedside table for months and months. I actually read a few chapters probably six months ago and haven't been able to get back to it. So I'm going to start fresh, dive in, and I'm already prepared to cry with this one. Another book that I can't wait to get to this month is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. So this is an alternate history novel where the Confederate and Union soldiers from the Civil War begin to rise from the dead. I don't know too much more about this story other than that it's going to be dealing with a lot of important subjects like race and class in America and I'm just really excited to read something from Justina Ireland. I've heard so much about her and I've never read anything by her and I'm just like the whole premise of this book sounds incredible so I can't wait to read it. Next I have the book of Spirits and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes. Now this is a companion series to the Fallen Kingdoms high fantasy series which is quite a popular YA series going on right now and that one ends this December. So I really want to get to this spin-off series which has a bit of a different uh, take to it. This one is actually set in modern day Toronto, as well as in the mythical kingdom Mitica that you see in the Fallen Kingdom series. And it kind of bounces back and forth from what I know. Other than that, I don't know a lot about the plot, but because I do love that other series and I think Morgan Rhodes is a great Canadian author, I really want to get to this one soon. Next up for me is Refugee by Alan Gratz. This book came out in July of 2017 and I have been hearing stellar reviews. A broad overview of this book is that it follows three different middle grade age refugees from three different time periods. One in World War II, one in Cuba, I believe in the 19... 50s and one in 2015, A Child from Aleppo. Basically it, com it uh, compares and contrasts their three different experiences fleeing their different countries and shows how they're all very similar in some very stark and sad ways and it's just a it sounds like a really beautiful human story. And finally another book that I cannot wait to get to is Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. Now I won't be able to select this book for Owlcrate because it is a sequel but I just can't wait to pick it up. It takes place after the events of Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda and follows Leah as the main character. Um, I don't want to say too much more than that because there definitely will be spoilers for Simon, so you should definitely go read that first if you haven't already, but I feel really lucky to have an advanced copy of this and I just can't wait to read it. I'm obsessed with Becky Albertelli and I'm sure I'm going to love this one too. And then I have The Water Knife by Paolo Bacigalupi. Now I've talked about how much I love Paolo Bacigalupi's writing before. He writes really interesting kind of post-environmental collapse dystopian fiction essentially and I have really high hopes for this one. This one is also kind of a western in a way, although it's set in a near future America in which the western states have gone through such a serious drought that now people are kind of fighting over water supplies. Um, it sounds quite violent and gruesome and I'm really excited for a fa the fast-paced nature of this one. Um, 
yeah, it just sounds really interesting and I've really liked his other books, so this is gonna be a great one to dive into in September. And finally, my last September book is, I think, lightening things up a little bit. It's The Lost Rainforest, Mez's Magic by Elliot Schreffer. This one has been described as a mix between Wings of Fire and The Lion King, so already I'm sold on this. So this is set in the magical rainforest kingdom of Caldera, where there is a tribe of nightwalkers and a tribe of daywalkers, and, um, the panther on the front cover, Mez, is the first on record that is able to cross between day and night and all sorts of adventure ensues. I'm a sucker for any story set in the rainforest. I love to imagine myself there and uh, I also haven't read a book from the point of view of an animal in a long time. So very excited for this one. All right, so those were a few of the books we're excited to get to in the month of September. We'd love to know some of the books you're planning to read in the comments below. As per usual, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Happy reading and thanks for being awesome. Bye.